Hey guys, Jeremy Chaney here today showing you guys a 2021 Ram 2500 Bighorn Crew Cab Black Widow Edition with the Cummins diesel, a six inch lift, an absolutely fantastic truck. It is a beast. And uh, can't thank you guys enough. Um, I was on a quest to get to a thousand subscribers and uh, we're over that a little bit now. So I really thank everyone who's uh, taking the time to subscribe to the channel, like the videos. Thank you guys very much. So let's talk about this truck truck has 370 horsepower it can tow 17,040 pounds and uh, the um, torque is uh, 850 um, so very powerful truck and as you can see the stance is absolutely incredible um, what we did what we had the company do um, SCA performance is um, they lifted it six inches they added these awesome tires and wheels they've added a custom leather interior on it and uh, that's already on top of a really really sweet truck this truck has the tech package, so it has the LED lights, the nine speaker sound system, the surround view camera, trailer reverse guidance, the cold weather group. It's got the bed utility group, sweet looking lights, awesome looking grill. In the grill, obviously you guys can see there is one of our cameras. Then you also have cameras on the left and right mirror, um, which is pretty sweet. And uh, gives you the perspective from the top of the vehicle. So you can actually, you know see where you're moving this beast to make sure you don't crush anything along the way this has got the blind spot monitoring that's what that triangle is for and this also has the sport appearance package which is sweet it looks awesome um, with everything pretty much white except for the mirrors um, they've added these awesome fender flares too guys so these are not standard this is something that um, we had added with sca and um, all, along with the front tinted glass a couple other things that we'll talk about We also have this truck in black too, which is really nice. Wow. We just got a second one in, same exact truck. Look at the tires on this thing. So it looks great in the white, in the black. We've got various colors. Um, I think we have some greens, some reds, and uh, I think some silvers and grays coming as well. This is a absolutely fantastic vehicle we have had tons of luck selling these already um and uh we have ordered several more so i would expect you know we will have probably somewhere around 70 of these or 60 of these um, when it's all said and done this one has the the uh, fifth wheel prep package on it also so there's your setup for that and has the step if you wanted to get into the bed of the truck just pull this out, which on this truck's helpful. Step on it, and boom shakalaka, you're in. All right, let's take a look. Put that back. I figured we might as well take a moment to do a quick test drive. So they obviously, you know, added a six inch um, lift to this truck and uh, the ride is not bouncy at all. It's it's very, like from the factory, very uh, very smooth riding truck. And um, it didn't compromise the towing at all as well. I checked with their factory and you're still gonna be able to tow the same amount. It's still gonna you know, feel the same. It won't sag any more than it would have from the factory, which is nice. But as far as pickup and go goes, it's awesome. All right, let's take it on the highway and see how she runs. Yeah, the handling of this truck is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. up very easily to your speed you need to be at no effort whatsoever and it rides like a dream absolute dream really cool looking tires and wheels you can see here tires are really nice looking 
Got the Black Widow right there also, which is sweet. These mirrors will actually go up also. So if you want to, you can have them vertically or horizontally. There you go, there's my face. I have a mustache, in case you guys were wondering. All right, whoa, look at those power boards. Guys, these power boards are a lifesaver for some of us. You know, so getting in and out of this truck is, uh, is a little bit of a challenge for some people. These power running boards make it a little bit easier, which is great. And uh, we've got the nice looking, nice looking trim here. And then there's our Black Widow. This is our custom leather that we have. So these seats are heated, steering wheels heated too, which is great for today because it's snowing. Just started snowing in Michigan, which is awesome. And let's check out this interior. So got automatic lights, got a great looking interior, 12 inch screen, got a sunroof on it. And let's fire it up, see what we got. So checking out our steering wheel, uh, we have our usual stuff, our cruise controls here. We have our gear limit select here. And then we have our voice recognition, our Bluetooth system here. And then these buttons control our driver's information center. And that's all controlled here. So <clears throat> this will give us our digital speedometer and a few other um, pieces uh, about the vehicle and the information, PSI on the tires, um, engine hours, and a few items like that exhaust brake, oil life, boost pressure. Being as it is a diesel, it's gonna give a little bit more than what a gas would um, as far as information goes. There's our average fuel economy, distance to empty, couple trip odometers, trailer information, music, uh, messages is like, hey, you need an oil change, things like that commercial settings if you choose to set up those um, items you can set a pin and a few other items which we're not going to do we'll let the owner do and then we have uh, back to our speedometer and then these are custom gauges here too so you can see these are the black widow gauges um, so those have been custom done which is really cool and then we'll move over to our 12 inch touchscreen radio and the 12 inch screen is uh, something that came out about two years ago in the 2019s very easy to use. You've got hard keys on the outside. Uh, most of the time you'll use these to adjust your temperature, turn your um, turn your heat up and down. You can also adjust the fan power here as well. And you can adjust the mode where the heat or air is going, which is nice instead of having to bounce into another screen. Then you also have your media. Right now we're listening to satellite radio. We could listen to our Bluetooth, AM, FM. Um, then we have our controls for our heated seats, heated steering wheel. Then we have our controls also you can see here for the backup camera, the surround camera, or the um, cargo camera. So we can turn that on. We can see there's our cargo. We can see how our hitch is set up. Uh, make sure everything's going well with that. Or if we're moving an item, you know, you can make those adjustments there um, just to make sure you can see what's going on. There's the side of the truck so we can see um, both ways, which is kind of nice. So cool new camera features that haven't been out for very long. Then we have our climate, which is our, again, our, you know, driver's side and passenger side, um, heat settings, and then our zone selection here, which we can do obviously with the, with the hard keys too. Our apps is more of a launch page with a little bit of everything on it. I don't really ever mess with apps, but you can. And, um, you know, you can change some things to drop down here instead of having nav um, to make it kind of like more of your custom favorite settings. Um, you're entitled to do that. All you're going to do is just hold this down and then drag it into the position and then it'll reset. Then we have our Garmin Nav, which I do like the Garmin navigation. I think it's cool and um, easy to use. Uh, easy to search for items, tells you a little bit about the traffic. So you can see there's green there. That means the highway is doing well. Yellow means it's backing up and then red means it's pretty much stopped. But I think it's nice. I think it's nice to have this big display, which is which is um, cool and helpful, you know, at the same time. And then we have our phone. We can pair our phones up and we can play through our Bluetooth and items like that. 
and then we have this standalone backup uh, backup camera uh, button. So that's the radio. And then down here we have our tow haul. Then we have our um, exhaust brake. Then we have our front and rear sensors. We can turn those on and off here. Auxiliary switches if we wanted to add any other lights um, or any other types of uh, items that you know would require additional power you know through the auxiliary switches. Trailer brake controller fully integrated. Then we have a few power outlets down here. Um, you know, for our phones and whatnot, that's also where you're going to plug in for your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and then you have um, a spot where you can put your phones as well here. And then down here, a little bit further, is a power outlet that you can use to charge your phone. So I always use this to charge my phone. It just charges faster than these, uh, but you have to use these for the Apple CarPlay and everything. Then we have our cup holder here for our Monster Drink, and we have our right here our um, our key. This is the key of the truck, so you got your unlock, lock, remote start, and uh, it's just a push button, guys. So here's your push button. All you do is press that in, and that starts the vehicle. There's no key that actually goes in to the ignition. Here's our four-wheel drive setup, so you can make your adjustments there for the four-wheel drive. And um, this opens up to a nice center console here. Lots of space for everyone's junk to go. Lots of space there. Even more space over here, guys. This is a uh, upper glove box. Then we also have our lower glove box there as well. And this does have the Alpine sound, which is totally cool. Um, nine speaker sound system and this size vehicle is gonna be totally great. And let's check out the back seat. Hop back down. So this is a crew cab, so this has a lot of space for your rear passengers plenty of space um, you've got storage in the floor so this lifts up and you've got in floor storage open this up here there's your storage down there and then these seats pull up and then you can do one of two things you can turn this into a flat surface there we go with support those are the legs or you can pop this lift this up and you've got some storage down here for whatever items that you need and things like that. So kind of a hideaway storage spots, which is nice to have. You never know if you need toe straps or extra jacket, what have you. And then you also have a couple more power outlets back here, a little storage spot, and then a couple of cup holders, even more cup holders down here, guys. So guys, thanks for watching the video. I can't thank you guys enough. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, totally great truck. I, uh, I have a ton of these on my lot right now. So if you're interested or you have questions, you know, feel free to reach out. My name is Jeremy Cheney and uh, I work at a dealership, La Fontaine Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Fenton, one of the biggest Chrysler stores in the nation. And we'd love to help you out. Thank you guys for watching. We also have these Rocky Ridge Wranglers. Try saying that five times. But they're special edition Wranglers that we've also built. They're new cars, um, untitled, and uh, they're really sweet too. So um, we've got this one, and we have this one. This is an Overland model, they call it. So it is lifted. It's got some really cool tires and wheels on it. And then we also have this Gladiator that is the Overland model. It's got a, a winch on it. It's got some big tires. It's got a snorkel, additional lights. It's got power running boards and it's very cool. So these are just a few of them. We have tons of these and I just wanted to show you guys these also while we were looking at a cool truck.